For the first time in the history of jets, artificial intelligence, and humans, an AI pilot flew a fighter jet head-to-head -head against a human pilot in the real world. The test took place sometime last year, and pulling the feet off was a collaborative effort between several government agencies like the Air Force Research Lab and DARPA, as well as industry partners like Lockheed Martin, Episci, and Shield AI. The teams worked together to put AI agents at the controls of the X-62A Vista, a test aircraft based on an F-16 airframe. In under a year, the project's partners went from installing live agents into the X-62A to actually handing over the controls in the first ever human vs. AI dogfights. It took a little time to teach the AI agents the rules of the sky and how to operate within the domain under real-world conditions. Over the course of 21 test flights, the machine-based learning tools were taught how to perform defense maneuvers before going into the more advanced, high-aspect, nose-to-nose engagements. During the dogfights, human pilots came within 2,000 feet of the AI-piloted X-62A, while moving at around 1,200 miles per hour. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall called it a transformational moment. The secretary will get a front seat to the new tech when he takes a ride in the AI-piloted plane later this year. While teaching an artificial intelligence to dogfight and actually having that intelligence perform the maneuvers in the real world is absolutely monumental, the Air Force's chief test pilot says focusing solely on that aspect misses the point of the overall moment. Dogfighting was the problem to solve so we could start testing autonomous artificial intelligence systems in the air. But every lesson we're learning applies to every task you can give to an autonomous system. Neither the AFRL nor DARPA are spilling the tea on who won the dogfights between human test pilots and their artificial counterparts. However, when AI agents went up against humans in a simulated environment, the AI agents swept the competition.